I'm Dominic Walker, JMW's Inside Man, and I'm with Stephen Taylor Heath. Stephen is a partner here at the Manchester office, but also head of sport. Hello, Stephen. Morning, Dom. So the Premier League uh, new deal has been announced today until 2025, although it's not really a new deal, is it? It's, is it unusual in these circumstances not to have a, an auction process? Well, certainly the previous deals have um, been um, secured by an auction process. Um, the, the normal thinking being that an auction will inevitably drive up revenues as rival companies outbid each other for the uh, the better packages, although the last time some of the rights packages um, were secured by um, Amazon at a, a lower rate than was expected. So it's certainly unusual, yes. And um, the, the lower clubs in lower divisions might get a little bit of benefit from this as well. Well, uh, it's certainly been the case that the government has had to be in close consultation with the Premier League in relation to the, uh, the new deal because competition law would normally dictate that you can't do a, a, a direct deal with the existing um, bidders. You, you'd have to basically get government clearance in relation to that. And some of the companies that don't have the rights, like DAZN, have obviously expressed disquiet in relation to that. Um, the Premier League have been in close contact with the government throughout the pandemic because that's allowed Premier League football uh, to continue uh, at a time when most other sports have been shut down. So there's been constant dialogue. Um, I think one aspect that may have... Um, persuaded the government that this was in the best interests all round was the fact that about £100 million of trickle-down funding is going to be secured for the lower league clubs at a time when they most need it. Um, you would say that obviously if this money is coming from the broadcasters, it means that the government don't necessarily have to provide it. Um, so it's certainly important that, um, that everybody's on board on the basis that this is in the best interest of the game as a whole. Excellent. Stephen, thank you very much for your insight. Stephen is head of sports law at JMW Solicitors. And if you'd like to speak to Stephen about a sports uh, law issue, you can contact him via me, insideman at jmw.co.uk or call me on 0161 82 81 999. I'm Dominic Walker, JMW's Inside Man.